The next few days are going to be a delight for stargazers. Lyrid meteor showers, which are one of the oldest and the most consistent celestial events to be witnessed from Earth, have started adorning the night skies and will continue till April 26th. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai and I will tell you everything you need to know about how and where to watch this as well as what this celestial event is. So let's begin. Now, Lyrids have been observed for nearly 2700 years. According to historic accounts, the first recorded sightings of a Lyrid meteor shower goes back to 687 BC by the Chinese. Some records have shown that those who witnessed the showers back in the day described it as stars falling like rain. Lyrids are basically an annual meteor shower seen this time of the year around the end of April and are known for their fast, bright meteors. It occurs when the Earth passes through a stream of debris left behind by the comet Thatcher, a long-period comet with a 415-year orbit around the Sun. According to the US space agency NASA, lyrids occur when particles from the trail of the comet, which are often no larger than a grain of sand, enters the Earth's atmosphere at speeds approaching 30 miles per second. Their high-speed movement creates frictional heat, causing the particles to vaporize into bright flashes. More colloquially, we would recognize these flashes as shooting stars. Though not as fast and plentiful as the famous Perseids in August, Lyrids can surprise watchers with as many as 100 meteors per hour. But that is an ideal scenario. If you are a city dweller, realistically, you will be able to spot around 7 to 8 meteors per hour in the dark sky. And during peak period, around 10 to 20 meteors can be seen in an hour. In the past, there have been recordings of heavier showers. These include the ones seen in Virginia in 1803, Greece in 1922, Japan in 1945, and in the US in 1982. According to observations made by scientists, lyrids don't tend to leave very long glowing dust trains behind them as they streak through the Earth's atmosphere. But they can produce the occasional bright flash called a fireball. This year, the meteor shower will be visible between April 17th and April 26th. It will peak between 20th and 22nd, when the maximum meteors will be visible in the night sky. A tip for our viewers, the best view will be on the night of April 21st and the early hours of 22nd. During this time, the moon will be a waning crescent, about 34 to 35% illuminated, with the sky remaining relatively dark for most of the night, enhancing the view. The radiant point of the Lyrids, which is basically the point from which meteors appear to originate, lies near the constellation of Lyra, which rises in the northeast. Lyrids appear to radiate from the area near the star Vega, the brightest star in the constellation. The constellation of Lyra is also where we get the name of the shower Lyrids. Like I said earlier, in India, these meteor sparks will be visible at its brightest, since we fall in the Northern Hemisphere. So those interested can enjoy the event throughout the week. The view will be enhanced under the dark sky, ideally away from the city lights on an elevated platform like the top of a building. You don't need any special equipment to view these sparkling bursts in the sky. Do keep an eye out for the weather, which could play a spoiler in many regions. If you happen to catch a glimpse of the Lyrids this week, do share your experience in the comments below. And for more such science content, subscribe to our channel. I'm Soumya Pillai for The Print.